guys, it's one half of Mitten Model Horses. I am CSJ Studios on Instagram. Um, I was Briar Othello Gal, but I changed my username because I didn't really feel like it fit me anymore. Um, I kind of want my username to be more of like an art account username rather than a collector account. So I did change that. Um, so today I have a video that's very different from what we normally post on here. I'm going to show the process of me making my Pennywise horse, which I'm sure you have seen it if you are watching this video, because it's probably the thumbnail or something. But basically, I have this idea that I want to do. I love Pennywise the Clown, and I just want to make him into a horse. So, um, first things first, I printed out some references. Um, this is a reference for, like, Pennywise's face and hair. And then this is going to be the reference I use for his clothing. Um, I'm using the new Pennywise, not the old Pennywise, because the new one is scarier in my opinion. This is the model that I will be using for this um, thing. I don't even know what you want to call it. I don't, I don't want to call it a custom because I feel like it's just so much different. But um, this is him. I've already started prepping him a little bit. He didn't have very many seams and like I don't need to worry about the body because it's going to be covered in clothes. Um, so yeah, this is a little dude that I'm using. I'm very excited. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime him and then I'm going to paint him. I'll show you guys the process of me painting him. And then I am going to start making his clothes and I don't have a sewing machine. So um, we're just going to kind of see how it goes. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and prime him and in the next video you will see me airbrushing. So right here I'm just airbrushing the mane and the tail. I started with a yellowish color and then I slowly started adding a more and more red toned brown which gave the illusion of his mane and tail being red. Um, so you can just see me building up the color right here and eventually I get to the point that I want. And then right here you can see the finished product of the airbrushing. Right here, I am taping off his mane and the tail, and you, this ends up being pointless because you'll see later. I was planning on airbrushing his whites on, and then I just ended up hand painting them because it was way too hard for me to like get in the little areas of his mane. So I'm just taping it off right now, but it's dumb. <laughs> so I ended up just painting it, you can see here, with white, and I just ended up painting his whole body by hand. And I kind of skipped some of it because right now is the most difference that you can see. And then um, later on, I just painted it with off camera because you can't make tell a difference on camera. And then this is what it looked like after I was done hand painting it. And then I painted his face markings on and his eyes and his hooves. This is that picture. And then here, I'm going to end up cutting up this clip a little bit because it's just really long. Um, the actual clip is over seven minutes long. But this is me making his costume. I recorded me ma uh, making the arms and the legs, so like the sleeves and the pants. Um, making the costume took about five hours, so it didn't take as long as I thought. I just ended up hot gluing everything. I didn't need a sewing machine, but yeah, so I'm gonna stop talking and you can just watch me struggle making his pants and his sleeves. <laughs>
Okay, hi. So I am going to, sorry if it's like kind of loud. Um, I'm gonna I just record me doing this last little like boot part. I, this part's kind of cool and I just have one more to do. So I think I can record it like this. And um, it stopped doing my like time-lapse video thing right at this part. So I think you guys deserve it. So, so I'm just weaving my needle and thread back and forth in the top of this fabric that I folded in half. Then I'm gonna like, I'm gonna scrunch it up. I need to fix my foot, sorry. I think this is enough. So, I'm sorry, I'm like really struggling right now. Okay. <laughs> kind of secure the lace because when you scrunch up the lace I'm using about this much of it but it's getting scrunched up to about this much so around the top of the leg where it's scrunched up with thread it's this big but I have this much fabric all around the leg so we are just um, trying to make it just hold it in a little bit so it's not so crazy Next thing that we're gonna do is just trim that off because I made it long just in case. Alright, so now we've got this. Move the lace around, kind of get it to how I want it, and then with my tiny little scissors that are, oh my gosh, this big, um, I'm just gonna chop into it. This should look messy. I find that it looks best when it's all messy. I'm I'm just spinning. Okay. Bye. See? Okay. You can't see anything because I'm not showing you. But basically, I'm just I'm literally just hacking into it as if I was going to give something the worst haircut of its life. That's the look that we're going for because he's it. And yeah, so basically I'm going to do that for the next 10 minutes and you're not going to be able to see anything because yeah, so bye. All right. Hey guys, this is going to be the last clip of the video. Um, so my, I, sorry, I can't, um, I can't talk right now. I just woke up, but I'm so excited. This is the finished pro. This is the finished product. Um, this balloon, I just need to like glue it um, straight, but this is the finished um, piece. This is so cute. So like, he's got his little balloon and um, yeah, his costume is finished. It keeps falling. I'm sorry. It's, I just, I just woke up. It's too early for this. It's like noon. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the It Horse. I'm going to add more photos of him at the end of this video, and I encourage you all to go follow my Instagram at CSJ Studios. Um, I'll link it down below so that you guys can find it easier, but I make a lot of stuff like this. So, um, yeah, go check that out. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you kind of like the video. If you want to see more videos like this on our channel, just comment down below and let us know because it's kind of different, but it's kind of fun. Uh, just 
stretch your creativity when trying to do customs. Um, your customs don't always have to be realistic and sometimes doing decos can be fun because you can learn techniques on how to paint but no one expects them to look super realistic because they're decos. Um, they can be very helpful with learning things about yourself as an artist that you can apply to horses to look real. So that's all I want to say for this. The video is kind of long. I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, I'm so happy that you watched. Thank you everyone and bye!